Okay, I'm here in the Annex building on Saturday, May the 13th at 2.55 p.m. And this is Michael Prettyman talking. And uh, it's 2017, by the way. And uh, I'm going to show you real quick how to cut on the sound and some other things in here, uh, the computer, the screens, those types of things. And uh, anyway, so when you come up here to cut on the sound, there is a button back here and make sure if you flip the wrong button put the other buttons right back in the same position this button's kind of hard to see but it's down on the back of the subwoofer here in the back right at the bottom kind of the left hand side sorry the other side of the speaker over here but you'll have to look for it to power the subwoofer up over here on the wall to power up the main speakers there is a switch right there it looks like a little light switch it's kind of hard to see but there it is right there, and that cuts on both of these speakers. Uh, that one there, you can see there's a light on in the front of it. There's a light on the front of the subwoofer. That's how you know it's on. And uh, once those are on, we walk back here. Sorry if I'm getting you sick. Walk back here to the soundboard. When you come back here to the soundboard, and this is mostly for the youth on Wednesday night, I'm showing you kind of how you need to use it. There's a power switch back here. At the top, I reach around. I cut it on. It takes a second for this to fire up. When this thing turns on, that volume switch, that's the main volume, automatically by default will turn down. So you'll see, it'll come on, it turned down on its own. What I do is I run it up to about, uh, I run it to about there typically, if you can see that. And then I come over here and I choose the auxiliary and what that does that's going to change the scene here so I hit the auxiliary button and what it is is that that's where the video from the computer is so if you want to watch YouTube videos or whatever notice it's muted unmute it and you should be good to go you may have to turn this up or down depending on what you need for volume but uh, but anyway so that's the soundboard on and now I'm about to walk you upstairs and I am going to kick the lights out here so you can see a little better there's the steps I'm going up but it's about to get dark I just kicked the lights out as you can see I'm about to hopefully not fall down while I'm shooting this video I'm walking upstairs here coming up the steps coming around the corner there's where the computer is set up and if you look at the computer here, it'll be locked and it's password protected. And if you're using this, you should know what the password is. I'm not going to say it here on the video. But uh, I use Google Chrome. I have Google Chrome up. I have YouTube up. Right now, as you can say, see, the scenes, uh, or excuse me, the screens are duplicated. They're not extended. And if for some reason you're not getting this screen to look like that screen, what you need to do is you need to right click on the computer screen and hit display settings. Display settings will come up. When the display settings come up, you scroll down over here a little bit. As you can see, I'm about to scroll a little. And when I scroll down, you'll see there is an option here that says duplicate these displays. You need to make sure that is chosen. And then when you choose that, you hit apply and then you'll have duplicated displays. Okay. So, I'm going to get rid of that, and I'm going back now. So then, whenever you're ready to play a YouTube video here, um, here I'll just play whatever is up here right now. I don't even know what's up. I'm afraid to hit it. That's KFC. Uh, maximize the, when I hit the maximize button, it'll maximize on both screens. And it's full up there, and then say I want to blow up the screen, obviously, if you know how to use YouTube, you just hit that, and it goes to full screen. And there it is, full screen, up there. I'm going to hit pause on this thing. Pause, and then I'm going to hit escape to get it back to a normal size screen, and that way... Can shrink it down a little bit now okay so there you have that now one thing to note is if you have no volume coming through and you have everything on downstairs right and all that you could have the volume turned down on the computer make sure that volume is up if that's muted or turned down that's going to be your problem okay next here is the light board when you cut on the light board 
there is a switch. There's a switch back here uh, for the light board and it cuts on these lights that are kind of up there and the little stage lighting. I want to show you something interesting. When you cut off this light board, it will not cut off the lights. I just cut it off. Notice the light stayed on. So when you cut this light board off, which I just cut it off, it won't cut the lights off until you have hit that blackout button right there. So I'm going to cut this thing back on. So the lighting board is on. When I cut it back on, it actually killed the lights. You see? Now, to get the lights to come on out here, I'm going to go to here. Once since the board's on, I'm going to hit on the chases. I'm going to hit number four. That's what happened when I hit the number four. The lights came on. Once again, I hit the blackout button. That's going to black it out. So here's me hitting the number four. When you're looking out there, there's number four. Oops, got to hit blackout again. Okay, now hit number four. Got to hit the blackout button again. So and then to black it out, I black it out. If I hit number four again, I'm going to have to hit blackout first to turn the blackout off. And there it is, number four. So there you go. So now when I cut this lighting board off, I come down here. I'm going to hit the blackout button first because, because if I turn the switch off, it won't cut the lights off. I've got to black it out first. So here's the blackout button. And then I cut the kill the switch. So I think that's pretty much everything. I'm sure I'm forgetting something, and I apologize. But, uh, but that's everything. You're just going to need the password for the computer. I'm sorry for such a long video. Um, but it's something to figure out how to turn everything on. And I'm out.